Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Hi you guys. We're here to help you become a better gardener and today we're planting bulbs. It's kind of an experiment because a lot of you already know that if you've been watching us for a bit that we have moved our entire garden because we're in the middle of a move. So yeah. we found a whole bunch of fall blooming bulbs like yeah. tulips and daffodils. Like a hundred of them. Like lots of them. So we that, meant to plant them in our old house but we never got around to it yeah. and now they're like the stems are like getting yeah, they're, huge. They're sprouting. They're actually wanting to grow. The flowers are starting to develop on the ends of the stems. We got to get them in the ground. Normally we would plant these in the fall but we're gonna plant them in the spring. It's March, it's mid-March. Yeah, mid-March mid -March. and zone 8B. Yeah. So, so normally we leave them in the ground over winter. Yeah, we don't have to dig them up in our climate, but you might have to. So this might be typical for you, but for us, it's kind of weird, but we're gonna do it anyway because we wanna see and make sure they get a chance to grow. Okay, you guys, we're about to get started here. And actually Sean pre-dug some of the holes, so we're kind of ready to go, pre-drilled. So you can see some pile of kind of uh, holes behind us here. And he used our um, bulb auger. So you just connect it to a drill and we'll have a link for this down below if you wanna check it out because this works for summer flowering bulbs as well. We use it all the time. So basically what we have here is mom um, helped kind of figure out where she wanted all the, t the tulips and the daffodils. So in this area, we're gonna plant some daffodils. So first of all, can you guys see how much these wanna grow? <laughs> they are sprouting and trying to find the sun and we have got to get these in the ground. And we don't want to waste them or lose them, right? So we figure, why not just see if they'll grow here? So these are the daffodil fortune, is what they're called. They're these yellow ones with the orange center. Those are beautiful. They're really beautiful. Oh, man. You know, and it's not really the colors my mom has in certain parts of her garden. So these will look really good over here, kind of by themselves. And what she wants is little groups of five. So we're going to plant five of these um, daffodils kind of spread out a little bit. They need to be planted about six inches deep and they're going to get about 18 inches tall. So that's going to look really cute out here. So should we get started? Yep, let's do it. Okay. So guys, here we are. First planting hole. Here's our daffodil. What you want to do is make sure to orient it. So this growing tip right here that you can see right there, that's oriented up. It's kind of curved right now. So we're going to kind of maybe put it at a little bit of an angle so it can kind of straighten itself. But this is the orientation that you want to plant them in. And you can see it's got some roots from last year there. So this will be great. So we're going to take five of these and put them in this hole. But first, we got to get down to about six inches. Now, using that ball bogger, it was really easy to get down to that seven, to that six inches. And uh, yeah, so we are gonna plant these. It's supposed to be six inch uh, spacings between these guys. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna plant them tighter. They're gonna look a lot better. I agree. Um, yeah, we yeah. like tighter spacing. Yeah, we've we've experienced that before where we've we planted them six inches apart and they just look like, it doesn't look that good. It looks kind of willy nilly. So we're gonna place them uh, further together, closer together, and uh, they're gonna look really nice and tight. So I'm just gonna put that down there. We're gonna grab four more of these. We're putting five in a hole. So, and we've got five holes, so we can we can uh, get all 25 planted. There we go. That's gonna look really cute. Oh man, up. yeah. So something to think about when you're doing this is just nice and lightly refill these holes like this. You don't want to dislodge your bulbs. And we've got other. Uh, videos that we've made about these about planting these bulbs but uh just going to go over it again in case you haven't you haven't uh seen those so here we go nicely go around those and don't worry about this i mean this is just going to die and rot in there anyway so no big deal and we'll nicely do that cover these guys okay and now we get a lot of rain around here, as you might or might not know. So we're not going to water these in. There's, uh, there's already moisture in the soil. So um, we're just going to let Mother Nature do their thing. If it gets really dry out here and it doesn't rain for probably about a week or two, then um, Julie will have to come out and uh, we'll come out and we'll water these in. But otherwise, set it and forget it. And that's it. So 
So guys, to clarify too, when we plant these, we're not watering them in, but once we see the stems actually come up out of the ground and start to start to grow, then we will put them on a regular watering schedule over and above what, uh, what precipitation we get, just to make sure they're getting enough moisture because we don't want them to run out of water while they're actively growing and uh, trying to develop all their flowers. So that's something to look for. Once you see that green come up, put them on a regular watering schedule and check the soil regularly to make sure that it's moist. You don't want them standing in water or in a lot of moisture all the time, um, but you do want them to have enough moisture to grow. So guys, we're out in Allison's mom's front yard and we're gonna plant these Dutch masters. These are beautiful, they're just pure yellow. Yeah, they're yellow and yellow right Oh there. my gosh, really pretty. gorgeous. And look what they look like right now. Oh my now. gosh, this really <laughs> needs to be planted. It's trying to it's, live. It's doing its best. It wants to live its best life, they all do. So they all look like this. We're gonna get them in the ground. We've already got the holes yeah. pre-dug. These are again, six inches deep. They're right supposed to be there. spaced six inches apart, but we're putting them in tighter because we really want that wow factor. So and if you space them tighter, you'll get that. Yeah, I like that. So that's that one right there and right there. Okay, you guys, we're back in the backyard and all the daffodils are planted now. So we're moving on to the tulips. So these are so beautiful. Um, again, all of these have come from Longfield Gardens, or sorry, Longfield, yeah, Gardens. And we got these at Costco. So we've grown some of their stuff in the past and they are very healthy. Okay, so we have three holes ready to go. We're gonna actually divide up 25 tulips into these three holes. So we'll probably do like eight, eight and nine over there in that third hole. And Sean already pre kind of drilled and dug out these holes so we're ready to go using our bull barber. So we're just kind of, again, this isn't a big experiment. We're, these are gonna be, the red tulips are called World's Fire. They're just kind of red. There. They have a little bit of yellow underneath at the base. Oh yeah, beautiful. Those so I know those are pretty, I'm predicting maybe the inside might have a little bit of yellow as well, but we're, we'll, we'll have to out. wait and see. Yeah. So we're gonna get those all ready to go and then we'll move on to the other color. Okay, you guys, that's a wrap for today. Yeah. 100 bulbs. We did it. We did it, 50 daffodils, 50 tulips, kind of yeah. all around my mom's yard. So yeah. we'll definitely show you when they come up. Yep, big experiment for us. We've never planted these fall planted bulbs in the spring. So we're keeping the packaging so we can compare. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll show you an update. I know, I'm excited to see what happens. So. Yeah. so guys, if you have any comments or questions for us, leave them down below. We love hearing from you. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you get updates on our latest videos. Yeah, and we'll be back in our next video, you guys. So we'll see you next time. Yep, see you hey, later. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.